What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna take a look at the side-loaded AMD driver 25.3.1. They've just released this. The past couple of days, it's got support for newer games. Monster Hunter Wilds is certainly working better. And more importantly, it brings AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 over. Now, of course, this is for product support for their new stack of GPUs, but it also brings this Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 over for anything 6,000 and up, which is going to include most of our handhelds, including the Z1 Extreme. So this isn't just for the Legion Go, but I did use the Go for this video. You could do the same exact thing that I'm going to do here on your Ally X or your Ally or whatever the case may be so we are on the official driver 2420 2601 from lenovo dated for december they updated this in january and they haven't had a new update just yet it is giving some problems in newer games and the fluid motion frames isn't quite as good now we're going to use ddu for our uninstall in safe mode which is one of the better ways to get this done so i'm going to download that i'll have a link in the description for this website and i'll have a link for this as well for the drivers to go grab from amd there's not even an optional driver here anymore it's just the 25 3.1 which is now the recommended driver and comes with afmf 2.1 so we're going to go ahead and download that as well now also i'm going to jump into settings here and we're going to go into privacy and security just to take a look at a couple of things here uh the bitlocker situation for device encryption if you have this enabled you may need your key to get into safe mode and there's instructions here for you that you can go into in windows to figure all of that out i don't use that so it's never a problem for me also the windows hello that's right here in additional options you might want to tick off otherwise you can't use a password to log in at safe mode and sometimes the pin won't work so that's something else you might want to toggle off before you go any farther as well all right so with all that done and these downloaded we can go ahead and close that we'll go to our downloads folder and we can see here we've now got the ddu and the driver so we're going to go ahead and extract the ddu and have this ready for safe mode go ahead and extract that here and then we're actually going to do this again so we're going to double tap on the actual application which is going to be another extract and it's going to make another folder here so click extract there and now you'll see a ddu folder show up that's what we're going to want when we go in and open the application in safe mode we'll go ahead and go in here and get ourselves ready to go to safe mode we'll go to start settings we're going to go to windows update we're going to go into advanced options come down to recover or yeah recovery we're going to go to advanced startup and click restart now. And that's going to allow us to get into our safe mode. So this is usually going to come up in portrait mode. So we'll just grab a hold of this and take a look here. We'll go ahead and go to troubleshoot. Let's click here. We'll go to advanced options. And then the next thing we're going to want to grab here is startup settings. And then you're going to see the option for enable safe mode there. So we're going to go ahead and click restart. It's not going to take us to safe mode yet. It's going to give us the option. So you'll see here they're listed out. Once it restarts, we need number four. I'm going to touch the screen and the keyboard is going to come up and I'm going to hit four. I've never had this fail. The keyboard has always come up for me to press four right here and make this work. So if that doesn't happen for you, other than plugging in a keyboard, I wouldn't know how to get that up. But it's never failed for me and I've done this a lot of time. So now we're booted into safe mode. I'm going to go ahead and flip this back around so it's easier for me to see here. Keep changes. All right, and now we're in safe mode here. We're gonna go ahead and go into our downloads and into that folder that we extracted for DDU, right here. And we're gonna run the display driver uninstaller. So we're gonna double tap that. All right, we can click OK. We'll talk more about Windows updates here in a minute, but I usually have this checked off in the advanced options to, to prevent Windows update. It doesn't really necessarily work, though it's still going to revert your driver eventually, but I usually have it checked off. We're going to go in here to select type of GPU, AMD here, and then we're going to click clean and restart the highly recommended top option here. It's going to go through its process of uninstalling the drivers and everything, and then it's going to automatically restart the device. So now if you want to pause windows updates you can go into your windows updates and settings i do like a pause for five weeks i'm always tinkering and changing stuff so that usually works for me um, to pause the updates but sometimes for some people it will still revert the gpu driver update you can search and go into services.msd here you'll see services tab you could click that and it's going to take you into the services this is a little bit more of a way to disable this long term and you can undo this at any time but you're going to scroll down until you get to windows update double click that and then you're going to see some options in here all you got to do is go to the middle where it has the startup type mine's on manual right now you can click disable right there 
and then you'll click apply and okay and that'll keep that supposedly from uh, rolling back your GPU driver and you can always go in here and change it back to the previous setting that it was before so that Windows updates will work again alright so let's actually get this installed on here going back to our downloads folder gonna double tap on that new driver we downloaded and it's gonna go ahead and attempt to install as usual though this is gonna fail out and give us the little oops message and then we're gonna have to manually install everything but that's how we get there anyway once we're uninstalled from other driver so as it tries to do its thing here you'll see it's going to go through little prompts and then it's going to fail oops something went wrong this happens every time i've done this guide a million times so we'll go ahead and close this out and we're going to go manually install this stuff so let's go first to our device manager if you don't have that up already you could search for it here device manager once that's up we're going to go to our display adapters right now it's just going to be the microsoft basic because we haven't installed any other drivers I'm going to go to the driver tab and then update driver. And once you do that, you're going to do browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list. And then we're going to do have disk. Then we're going to click browse right here. All right, now we're going to go to this PC, our C drive. And then you're going to see the AMD folder that now exists since we had that failed install. So we want to click on that AMD folder, the AMD software installer. Go to packages, drivers display you're going to see this wt 6 a underscore inf open that up and then at the bottom you're going to see this inf folder right here uh, or file and that's going to have all of your drivers listed so highlight that click open and now we're going to click uh, ok and that's going to give us our list of drivers i'm just going to scroll to the tm version of the 780m graphics driver find that right here and highlight it and then i'm going to click next Yes, and then it's gonna go ahead and do its install of the drivers. Uh, sometimes it might flip you back to portrait. You might need to change it back to landscape, but yeah, that's all installed. We'll go ahead and close that out now. It's now an AMD uh, Radeon driver. Close that, we'll get flipped back around here to our landscape mode, and there we go. So we'll go back to this PC. We're gonna go ahead and install the software. So go to the same place you went before, packages, drivers, display, WT6A right here. And then at the bottom, you'll see this B4. You'll have like a lettered number folder. You're gonna to wanna to open that up, scroll till you find the CCC2 install application. So alphabetical order, we'll scroll through here and you'll see the CCC2 install. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's gonna install the AMD Adrenaline software that we need to go along with the driver that we just sideloaded. So this might take a minute or two, but just be patient once that's done. It'll highlight close here and you've got the software installed. So we'll close that out. Now before I restart, which I do wanna do, we'll go ahead and open this up, make sure it's working properly, which it is, AMD software, Adrenaline Edition. And we've got 25.3.1 here, the newest with AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 that we'll be able to check out here. We're gonna look at a couple of games and talk about what I'm seeing here with this and uh, we're also going to set up some hotkeys with Legion Space and all of that but you can see here we are properly installed so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing restarted and we'll get more into it here. Alright so we've got all that installed and for me Legion Space has all been working fine. Uh, the quick access menus have worked fine and all of my custom settings and things like that. No quirks or anything. I know some of you guys will have stuff like this just break when we sideload these unofficial drivers versus the Lenovo ones. But so far I've been tinkering around a lot here for a little while and I haven't had anything broken or buggy or not working for me. So that's at least a good sign for me anyway for my experience here when it comes to Legion Space, the uh, TDP pack power settings, all that kind of stuff working the way that I wanted to here. Now, as far as button mapping, you can also do that while in Legion Space through your controllers and settings and button mapping. We'll go to view and edit here in gamepad and we're gonna to go to the rear view here. And I have nothing set up right now. I had cleared everything out, but if you wanna set up some easy stuff for Adrenaline or really any other application, you can easily do that here. And I'll just show you really quickly. Uh, we'll go into settings and hotkeys, and then you can see all the hotkeys that you might want, like Alt-Z for the sidebar, Control-Shift-O for the overlay, Alt-Shift-G for uh, Fluid Motion Frames 2, and so on. You can program these in to the buttons around on the Legion Go. So let's jump back over to Legion Space. Uh, I'll pick uh, the side button here. We'll just tap that. I'm going to go to key combination. I'll just set this one for Alt Z, which would be our sidebar. I'll click Y to confirm, and then that's already programmed in there. So it's really easy to do. Uh, let's go ahead and do the overlay Control Shift O. So I'm going to pick the top button right here. 
key combinations and we'll do control shift O. Click Y to save that and all done. And I'll do the same thing for AFMF2 uh, with the alt shift G in there. But yeah, it's an easy way to just set that up. Now I can click that and the overlay comes up. I can click the side button and the sidebar will come up and everything will work fine. And in game, I can toggle fluid motion frames with my other hotkey that I just set up. So really easy to do there. No issues with that. All right, so the first thing is Monster Hunter Wilds, and we don't need to use Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 here. In-game frame gen is going to be better, and we're using that here. The point is, this game's actually working well for me now, and it's not crashing even with medium textures using frame gen, and I've gone to a few different areas and played where I normally would crash. So I'll have a dedicated video finally coming out for Ladies and Go and Monster Hunter Wilds with this driver and uh, we'll be able to see more performance because I'm not having such prevalent crashing issues on here now. So that's something good to note here with the new side loaded driver. And as far as the Fluid Motion Frames 2.1, which is what I really want to get in here, we'll take a look at a couple of games starting with uh, Expedition 33 here, running about 53 FPS or so. We'll kick on um, Fluid Motion Frames 2 here. You'll say it says active down there. And now you'll see it pick up on that frame rate. It actually runs a lot better than the original Fluid Motion Frames 2.0 was for me. On this portrait display, even though the, the overlay for AMD still doesn't work properly, we still get things, the, the sidebar would be the wrong orientation, just like our um, notifications down there. So I can't use any of that, but I can use the Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 here. And it definitely feels better for latency for me than the uh, past version. And as far as the stutter and just, being kind of a mess on the legion go which the last version was it would always have some kind of skip and stutter when we had this active most of that is gone it, it's not perfect but it is not near as janky as this was before now i also jumped in some some grand theft auto 5 enhanced and we're getting about oh 94 or so fps right here we already have fluid motion frames turned on and we'll go ahead and turn that off here as well and we'll take a look but this worked great in this game too not that i would need fluid motion frames turned on here it'll come down to about 50 so fps and driving around in the 40s but it feels fine this game runs great on this hardware this is just the high preset here at 1200p but yeah it's it's not bad at all but we can kick on the fluid motion frames here it doubles the frame rate pretty well and again it's not near as stuttery and janky as the last version or the 2.0 the last side loaded driver we had on here or even the official now the official driver from lenovo is better in the fact that your sidebar your overlay all that stuff is oriented properly in landscape and works better than this one does for me i've never been able to get these side loaded drivers to properly work with the overlay and all of that with this portrait display but fluid motion frames does and 2.1 is definitely a lot better so also game support so games like monster hunter wilds maybe the new split fiction and others that might be crashing or having problems on the official lenovo driver from december this would solve that so if you're having game crashing problems or performance issues this could help you out or if you're just really interested in using the fluid motion frames 2.1 and testing that out this will work out okay for you as well but if none of that is bothering you currently and everything on your go is working just fine then you might want to hold off and just see if there's a Lenovo update soon. Side loaded drivers are great, but it's never my favorite. I do prefer to test and run devices with official drivers from the companies, but it's just not always the best case, especially when we're waiting on driver updates for a little bit longer time with these companies, which hopefully will get worked out better in the future. But anyways, guys, hopefully this guide and testing this out a little bit helped you out. Really appreciate you coming to watch as always, and I'll see you in the next one.